today that I could come to a lesson. So I'm so excited because I know you've already been practicing thinking in your iPad and explaining your math thoughts to us. So I have a problem and I need help solving it, okay? Now, what very special day is coming up near the end of school where we all go outside and we do lots of games? Da -da -da. Everybody, what is it? Okay, now, at Sherwood Heights, do you stay with your class, or is it different? It's different. Okay, what do you do? You go with, you go with, you go with the group. What do you mean? You, you play with your field team. Okay. They pick people from other classes. You pick grades. okay, so. Different grades get separated. Okay, so. And people from different classes. Okay, so the, so we have groups, right? Yeah. Okay, and then they're not the same class, so they're kind of all mixed up. Okay, now, Mrs. Gerard and a team of friends are the ones that are in charge of making those groups. So, what, it's kind of a big process, and it involves some mathematics. Now, I looked up today, and there are 399 students at Sherwood Heights. Oh, wow. Did you know that? It's almost four. There's 399 kids. So, our activity today is going to have to do with making some field day groups. Okay, so let's say, okay, we were Mrs. Gerard and the team, and they have to do this every single year, so it's certainly helpful. Um, we have to start with that number, and then we need to, we need to make some teams. So what do you, let's, let's brainstorm for a minute. What might make, what are some important things when we make field day teams? Okay, I want you to turn to your neighbors that you're with and talk for a minute. Talk about what are some good ways, what, what needs to happen, do you think? Oh. Just turn right there with Kimberly. Yeah. Talk for a minute about something you could do for so field day. Let's pretend, okay, we're the group in charge of kind of figuring out all this field day team. And we gotta figure out what's gonna be a good plan for Sherwood Heights. So what are some things that you and your group talked about you think that would make, you know, for a good team? We want the field day to be really fun for kids, we want to be organized and work really well. So what are some ideas? They need to be equal. Okay, so you think the team should be equal. Why do you think they should be equal? So, so it's fair, so that when you play the games, like one person, one, um, one field, one team, doesn't have more, so it's easier to win. Oh. My, my group was the top 20. Hold on. Okay, so if one team has more kids than the other, it might not be fair. And you know, some games are different. Like, remember the cup one? Yeah. Where yeah. you pour the water? Do you want a big team or do you want a little team? Big, big, big team. If you're trying to race. A little. little. <laughs> okay, so if one team had 20 and the other had 10, you were supposed to just get one from one to the end. You know what I mean? I don't know, dump in the water. I, I, I wonder, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so that might be important. What else do you think might be important? To have fun. Okay, oh. definitely want to have fun. Absolutely want to have fun. I'm gonna keep that one here. That we, we're gonna mix the groups for sure. So we know that. We wanna mix them, we wanna have every grade, every classroom represented, right? Okay, so mix grades. And classes. If we had a person from every single classroom, there would be a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. What, do you, what are some other ideas? Being safe. Okay. We definitely want to be safe. What do you think might be a, a way we could organize the team so that they are safe? If there's too many people, like, you crash into each other and hurt themselves. If there's too many people, you could crash into each other. Think about those games. What do we, so what do we think might be a good number of people for a team? Mm -hmm. Elliot? Mm -hmm. Maybe like 19, 20, okay. Uh, any other ideas? Nine, 10. Maybe nine or 10. Huh? Five or 10. Maybe five or 10. What, who else is on the teams besides <laughs> kids? Adults. The Two adults, adults There's that um, are the leaders that make sure they're like safe. Okay, so they're adults, right. So if the team was only like five or ten kids per team. Do you think that w there's enough adults in the school to be on all those teams? No. I don't know. Um, we did say if the teams are way too big, it might not be safe. Yeah. If there's 399 um, 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 classrooms, that means there would be that many teachers. If there was 399 classrooms, there would be 399 teachers. <coughs> Is there one kid in each classroom? No. <laughs> How many kids are in this classroom? 18. 18. Okay, and, and they're not always, you know, quite the same. All right, now, 
So, is here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to decide how many field day teams we need. Five hundred ninety-nine. Hmm, hold on. How many teams? And then I want you to decide. Hold on. Look up here. Remember, I said I can't have you up against the wall. Can you turn around, please? And then I want you to decide how many kids on each team. Now, can we leave anybody out? No. No. 399 is not an equal number to work with. Oh. Or like an even. It, it is not an even number. That's an interesting little wrench in our problem. Huh. Let's see. What do you think happens in like, like in our class, like how many kids are in your classroom? Eight. There are 18. Okay. Um, well, how many kids do you know are in Mrs. Russo's classroom? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You think about 20 or something? No. You could, you could go in there count. Let me ask you this. So when you're making groups of classes, if it's not possible for it to be completely equal, what do you, what do you think you could do? Like have That's why there's teachers. teachers. That's why they're teachers. What did you say? They could have like one more Maybe person. one more person. So like would we want one class with like 10 and another class with 30? No. Are, right, but if we had one class of 18 and another class of 20, is that pretty close? Yeah. Okay, so how about like as equal as we can make them? Yeah. Alright, now, what are some strategies that you guys know about for splitting up numbers? That's what we want to do here. We've got 399. We don't want 399 teams with one person in each team. That's not very fun. We probably would take a long time to get through our activities. <laughs> uh, but we don't want two teams of... 200, because that wouldn't be very fun, take a long time. <coughs> okay, what do you